All right, everybody. Look at that. It's a beautiful young male leopard. Looks to have... I'm not sure what he's found there on that bush, but he's been on the road for quite some time. We've been following him, and it looks like he's been on a few scents every now and again, just here and there. Stops every time and again. It's one of the young males that was born in the property. I think it's just somewhere around two years, or close to what's two years right now. You know, he's walking now. The sun is about has just gone down. And it means that it is the time where he is supposed to be active or a lot more active. And then walk around to places where he knows that there are quite a few or some antelopes that move around in that area. Hoping to get an opportunity maybe to hunt and then try his luck and see if he might have a meal for the evening. And it's quite easy once he's once he's actually found or seen something that is interested in you could easily read his body lang body language and the signs that he would show that that leopard has seen something and is interested and often you'd see the tail or the tips of the tail wagging both sides and you'd see him dropping his ear his head down a little bit and tucking his ear a little bit behind so we're just gonna keep up with him and follow him. I know in the direction that he's headed in, this nice, huge, open area, and there's often a lot of antelope or impalas that are in that area. So we'll keep up and see which way he heads. Of course, he might easily change direction. Because when we initially found him earlier today, he there was two of them. It was also a female in the area where he was, and I think he had stolen just the carcass there and there was a bit of a confrontation but the female was a little bit skittish or unrelaxed and disappeared and looks like we had to keep up with him the whole time and it's just to see where he goes so he's been on the move for the past maybe an hour and a half two hours so he's been active for a little bit longer He's still just a young male. The age that he's in now, he doesn't have his own territory yet. So he's still roaming around, still nomadic. He's moving and trying to survive throughout the uh, territories of other leopards. He's hunting, he's scavenging, he has to steal from other leopards and all that stuff so that he can survive. It might happen that when the other bigger males move into the place, they might also push him out and you might even go further because this is the offspring of that male leopard that used to be dominant in the property who is now no more so he's lucky that his father isn't in this territory so he's it is at least has that little bit of freedom but there are other big males that move around within this territory and i know that if they came across him or other big females as well that might even have small cubs he's a big threat at this point so he could easily kill them so he's also sexually active let's not put that aside so that's one reason why he's now becoming a threat to any small uh, offsprings that the females might have but looking at him he's grown up to be an impressive young male leopard and by the looks of it i think he's gonna make a very large male one day So I think we'll follow him for now, see where he goes, and I'll send you guys to John T in time. I see, it looks like he's come to a place where he's now decided to stop. 
So remember earlier on I said in the direction that is heading in, there is quite a large open area where a lot of antelope, like impalas and wildebeest and zebra, and all of those uh, come out just to sleep in the evening. I think it's rather assessing the area, having a look to see if any of those antelopes are there so that he knows which way to come in and all that stuff. So he's trying to see if he'll be able to see anything to try and figure out a, a way to best approach that area because he's just up uh, not far from there. And I think knowing leopards at this time of the day, he's possibly got far better vision than we do. So he can see a lot more than we can. So I'm gonna still keep up with him. And you can see he's been on the road ever since we were following him. And that simply means that he's on a mission. He's trying to get from the one point to the next place because the road, it's much easier to just walk on it. It's like the path of the least resistance. So he doesn't have, he doesn't have a lot of obstacles along the way. So it's, it's, it's uh, a, good, a good way for him to get from one place to the next. So let's keep up. And see where he goes. Earlier on this afternoon, not too far from here, there was quite a large troop of baboons and some wildebeest and some impala. And it looks like he's headed straight in that direction. And you can see every now and again he stops and have a look, listen, and see if you'll hear anything or see anything over there, and then we'll carry on. White man, you're asking if this is the one where a baboon hoisted up a tree. I'm not entirely sure. I'll double check with the other guys. It's possible it could have been him. And then I'll get back to you on that one. You can see now I've decided to go off-road. There's quite a lot of bushes and stuff that he can use for cover. And he's going to disappear there behind that bush. So I don't